Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Shema Monet, and today I am coming to you with some new goodies that I recently got from Juvia's Place. Juvia's collaborated with Fumi, another phenomenal YouTuber, and I wanted to support the collab and I got some products. So I got the eyeshadow palette, which is called the Queen Palette, and I got one of the two lipsticks. This is the nude one and it's called Royalty. So first, y'all, this packaging is super duper cute. So it says, the queen lip gloss and then on the sides it says royalty and it slides out like this it's so cute y'all super duper cute so i'm gonna test this out later but i want to do something real cute like a bold cut crease with the palette so this is what the palette looks like and they're calling it a multi-functional palette six shades the little clear thing the six shades but these are what the shadows are looking like so um i'm gonna just jump right into it i don't really plan on using all of these shades right now for this look i really want to use glam and fdv approved to do like a nice shimmery cut crease i might use a little bit of olay and even sister i just don't think i'm gonna use the two the pinks and the purples but let's get into this um yeah i already know that i'm gonna have to dip into my um my warrior 2 palette just for some transition shades y'all if y'all don't have the warrior the Warrior Palettes 1 and 2, psh, I don't know what y'all doing. They phenomenal, amazing. Like, I use them all the time. So, I'm going to go ahead and with some concealer. It's a little bright. It's natural. But for this cut crease, I'm going to just go in with this bright shade off the rip. All right, so now that I got my base, I'm gonna go in. Let me see this sister to sister shade. I think this sister to sister shade is gonna be a little bit too bright. Hmm, not bad. I can use this as the first transition shade. So this is sister to sister. It's a little peachy. I want something a little earthy, but this will work. This will be real cute over the lid. For like a matte pink a little peachy this is cute and i'm using a bh cosmetics blending brush so it's not packing it on per se it's diffusing the color and that's what i want but i could tell that this will be really nice on the lid All right, so I'm actually going to go in with Olay and just a tiny bit right underneath that. Well, that looks cute. I'm going back into Sister just to bring up that shade a little bit higher. Cause I'm a hooded girl, so when I cut my crease, I gotta cut super high, and this one is double hooded. One, two, the two folds, so I have to make sure I bring up my um my shades a little bit higher when I'm doing a cut crease. I may not need to go into my Warrior palette like I was anticipating. I'll see in a second, but I might be able to achieve this look without it. Because I'm liking the way it looks. And this looks like it has a little bit of copper reddish in it anyway, so I might be fine.
the color looks amazing like y'all i i don't really worry not really i don't worry at all whenever i get anything from juvia's place because the products are amazing pigmentation blendability it's always phenomenal all right so so far i've only used this i use sister to sister and olay i'm gonna go in and cut this crease and get this show on the road All right, so my creases are cut and I'm going to start, hmm, I'm going to start in the inner, eh, yeah, I'm going to start in the inner corner with um, FDV approved. I'm just taking an e.l.f. crease brush, a flat one. I'm not going to wet it first because I just want to see what it applies like dry. So I'm going to push into it a couple times, pack it onto my brush and see what it's looking like. Pretty, pretty. And I'm just pressing it. I'm not really sliding it. I'm just pressing it. Into the inner portion of my eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. take another one another elf eyeshadow brush and now I'm gonna go into glam same thing I'm gonna press into it a couple times get the pigment on the brush Ooh, that's pretty this is like a really pretty rustic like fall shade Oh, this is so pretty. All right, I want to bring Glam in some more. Y'all, this is pigmented. Like, I already knew that, though. I'm not surprised. I'm just saying. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm going to take that brush. I'm not putting any more products on it. But I just want to blend this front part out. This glam shade is definitely glam. Like that's the perfect name for the shade. Mm -mm. Okay, so now I am gonna go in to this Warrior palette. Uh, taking a mixture of these two, probably these three, but hmm, actually, I think I'm gonna take these two. Let's see. Where'd my brush go? Here we go. Let me use a different one. liking the way that's looking right there and I just kind of mixed Kufuru, Jamata, and Wazana 
to blend out the end of this cut crease in my outer V area and just bringing it up a little bit, not too high. And now I'm gonna go back in to the Queen palette with my original blender brush and I'm gonna go back into Olay because it kind of disappeared a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some liner, lashes, do my face and all that good stuff, and then I'll get into the lip gloss. All right, you guys, so we're ready to finish up this look. I'm gonna go back into the Queen palette just to smoke out the lower lash on a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with Olay. And my eyes are watering, which is why I rarely ever do this. <laughs> because my eyes just get all super sensitive. So I'm gonna get a little bit of FDV approved. Switching brushes. I want it to be a little bit more, not so sharp. There we go. I'm going to go into the Warrior palette just to get a little bit of that dark brown, these browns I had used. just for the outer corner. All right, that looks good to me. I don't wanna get carried away smoking out the lash line because we got a lot going on at the top. So now I'm so excited y'all to try this lip gloss. So I'm gonna outline my lips with Bare, um, bare Lip Liner by the Crayon Case. Because I feel like this is about to be a super pigmented nude. So baby got to line her lips. Only thing I have on so far is just a little bit of Carmex. All right, lips are nice and lined. I brought it in a little bit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, right, I'm gonna swatch it on the back of my hand. It smells like, it smells like Fruit Loops. That's what it smells like. That's pretty, y'all. I should have ordered two of these. That's pretty. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> and pigmented. Y'all, it smells like Fruit Loops. It smells like some straight up Fruit Loops. So if you don't like the way Fruit Loops smell, <laughs> I'm sorry. This baby smells straight like Fruit Loops. Mm. 
Oh, it's a, such a nice nude though. And it's, y'all yeah, see that pigment? I didn't even eat that much. I got a little carried away. It's nice though, it's not too sticky. Again, this is what it looks like swatched on the back of my hand. Very, very nice. I like, I like. And I want it to stay nice and cute, so it's going right back in here. <laughs> but you guys, this is the finished look. What do y'all think? Like, I kept seeing people going for the pinks and the purples, and I already have a lot of pink and purple looks out. So when I saw this palette, I was like, oh no. I like, as soon as I saw it in the colors, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do a little cut crease. So again, I used FDV approved, inner corner, glam, rest of the lid, Olay and Sister to Sister as part of the transition shades. And I also used a couple of browns in the Warrior 2 palette for the transition shades. So Karufu, Walazana, and Jamata. Those are the three shades I use out of this palette. But everything else was this palette. As far as the skin, I'm using Juvia's Place Concealer number 12, the foundation, and 150 Cano. I used the blush palettes for contour, blush, and highlight. So for highlighter, I used Volume one in the Sahara blush palette, I used Zara. And then I also used the Queen palette, FDV approved. Same shade that is on my eyes. I'm here for this look. I'm here for this palette. Yo, Glam is such a nice color for four, y'all. Oh, I can already see it all over the lid. This is nice. This palette was only $15, you guys. It is limited edition, as well as the lip glosses. The lippies were $10. There's another dark one that I might just have to get. Hopefully, it didn't sell out yet. But there's another dark one called Fumi. The lip gloss is called Fumi that I didn't get. But, y'all, I think I'm about to run back up there and see if I could grab Fumi in another one of these royalty lip glosses because I need that in my kit. But... This is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you grabbed anything from this collection, what you like, what you love, what you know you might have to gift away. Sometimes, you know, sometimes we don't like everything, but that's all right. Again, thanks for watching this tutorial. Until next time, guys, be blessed. Bye.